Much wavier today. You say instead of a pigeon lady, it's a seagull lady down on the beach. Lost in New York, the pigeon lady. Yeah, the wave. My mom asked, uh, did she miss the beach walk? I don't know if she was expecting a video like immediately, but unless she's a member and she's waiting for your members only video. Oh, she might be. She might have been gifted one by Sean or any of the other people that do the gifts on 2.0, which is lovely. Uh, but it is a little bit later in the day. So it's now uh, 2.25 and we didn't, we didn't come out here early because uh, it was cooler. The sun, you know, it's extremely cloudy today. And uh, basically afternoon, it was going to be warmer. It's yeah. still not entirely warm. It's 57. Uh, it, if in the sun, it's like 10 degrees warmer. But here, there's no sun. It's really weird. So uh, it's definitely a cool, it's going to be a cool walk. The sun's right over there. You see it out in the water? <laughs> we just got to get to that point. Ready yeah, we swim? just need to, we need to be out there. Out there. Red flag today, single red today. And uh, what I was saying was that these guys in Navarre, they fish off the beach, just like we would see the guys with the rods. Yeah. And they caught a great white. They reeled it in and then released it. Yeah. The guy took the hook out of the shark's mouth and then walked the shark back into the water. Here you go, sharky shark. A great white. A well, the great, great white was probably like, listen, I was going to eat you, but since you took this, this thing out of my mouth, although you're the one who put it there, I'll give you a pass. A great white. I don't know what's crazier. The fact that he did that or the fact that you can catch a great white off the beach. Maybe all great white sharks are actually very nice. Um, have you not seen um, like the reef and like dory and finding nemo no. there's a lot of really nice sharks in there but you did remind me i need to look at reef addicts i need to see what they've been up to lately how many of you guys watch reef addicts on youtube my it's gone uh-huh uh -uh. it was tiny so it didn't take long it away. So I just So starting where we are today, we got some new scenery as far as the houses go. Well, actually, you might've seen this already, but we're gonna end up going out further than we have before. But it is definitely flatter. Yeah. Definitely flatter here. Or is it just today? I don't know, honestly. But I like it much better for walking with shoes on. The big waves are like, I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up. But there's like so much mist coming off these waves. It's just pretty cool, pretty epic. The GoPro's got like a, the focal length on this lens is kind of tough to capture every detail. So we may need to come out here with uh, a better camera every so often. Okay, any excuse works for me. <laughs> So Michelle pointed out how quickly they're painting this condo. They're getting after it. They got these swing stages set up, scaffolding set up. But I had this idea, and obviously since we're gonna spend another two years where we reside, should we paint? Oh, I was thinking about that too. I wanna paint so bad. So I was wondering, should we paint to touch up or should we paint to customize, customize. and then obviously repaint back yes, that. <laughs> before we leave, if we ever leave. The website for the apartment complex, when they show you the, the uh, pictures of what you, this is where you could live, 
they have it painted in these coastal beachy colors and it's so pretty and then you move in and it's your builder's tan and you're like well blah 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 and you're thinking well i'm only going to be here a year if you pay to paint it you got to pay to paint it back and all that other stuff but we're now here two years we're doing two more we should paint plus there's some blemishes on the wall from where they did the work and stuff no nah, like just living yeah true. Dog. so it's only gonna get worse so maybe we'll maybe we'll paint what do you guys think now i will say that i enjoy the ability to have a continuation of conversation so number one thank you guys for watching the last video where we took a pretty long walk yeah. found a beach and uh managed to get the drone out capture that vintage rv that's now gone and uh i didn't we weren't able to get the dolphins but on the drone but you guys saw the dolphins but also thank you for the suggestions they range between wearing the pins diapers wearing the pins adult diapers which i thought would be hilarious if she wore the pins but obviously she'd have to show you she's wearing the pins but me being a supportive husband i too would wear the pins and then we'd be walking and you'd be trying to talk to me I'd be like hold on hold on i can't talk to me at the same time so we range from the pins to really baggy shorts <laughs> we can pull one to the side and just stand and pee and, and you have to take paper towels wipe your leg off though and uh <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get out of my way. Why didn't you go left? I was you trying to. You went up. <laughs> up that's, does not save us. That's how jumping works. And all you did was splash the puddle. That's how jumping works. Well. I felt like I was in a video game. I could jump and then go over. It didn't work. No. And then the last one was a was a a urinary device an extended urethra of sort like a go, go, go no the girl a go girl, girl pee funnel yeah which now i'm kind of curious i think you should get one and use it i have one oh you have we one? got it years ago did you use it uh -uh, still you should paint. use it and review it and describe it in words only. What do you mean? Like, how does how like? How else would I describe it? Like, you're not using words. Well, you're not going to show a video. Well, no. So it's like verbally described to anyone. This Having is, a funnel in this your This is vagina? what you should expect. Okay. If they had named it vagina funnel, nobody would have bought it. Go girl makes way more sense. Well, how come they didn't call it you go girl? You go, girl. <laughs> what I do is stand. Michelle says this house reminds her of Full House. Wait, the blue one or the yellow one? Ditch the shoes. Yeah. Ditch, ditch the Chuck Taylors. Yes. Now I'll end up with another Chuck Taylor show probably. So, today is technically day seven. Today is day seven of beach walking. Technically, no. It's the seventh day of beach walking. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Because we started Monday, we didn't go Sunday, and it's Monday. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. So, we did six days in a row. Of walking. Well, Saturday, did we beach Saturday? Well, yeah. But it was two, two, like two and a half hours of walking. So five, five beach days, one non-beach, yeah. six total yeah. in a row, yeah. one day of rest, and here we are. This is our seventh walk. Technically, if I didn't love the beach so much, I'd be resting today too. 
you think tomorrow will be a rest day? No. Or is today like the worst day? Today is the worst day. Day one is always the worst day. Does this house remind you of the Jetsons? What's your favorite house between this stretch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Before we get into the condo. I have two that are my favorite. That one to me is so crazy because that one looks like it's like a southern kind of house. It doesn't look like it belongs on the beach, but technically it's that one that doesn't belong on the beach. You know what I mean? Like that one is actually beachier than the one next to it, but I like the modern one. So Michelle spotted some paw prints on the beach. Mercury's taking over. Little, little tiny paw prints. And I think a comment was left. They're like, oh, Max would probably love the beach. No, Max does not love the beach. He is very timid. He's not interested in, in touching this water. Uh, maybe if we were like to coerce him into it, he might love it. But he's not. He has. He he's not interested. And right now, he wants nothing to do with the beach. True. Well, the last time we took him, it was December, so it was freezing. So maybe why. It feels really weird. You got a wide, very wide and pronounced gate. It feels weird. So it does look like it could rain. They claim it's not. They claim zero. But if it does, we are going to be soaked. Because we have a very long walk or run back to cut this shelter. All right, now I don't know what this is, and I didn't know it existed. Me either. But apparently, there's a, there's a, a part of the beach where you can put your RV in the sand. Oh my gosh. How do we get there? How do we get there? Yeah, we've never come down this far. This is pretty cool. Yeah. So obviously, there's concrete there, or else they'd all get stuck and never be able to leave. But Really There's one airstream, two airstreams. It looks like we got maybe a. I see a Mercedes front end. That's a Class C, I think. Oh, we got two. We got two Mercedes. Huh? We got a, I think it's a B plus, another B plus, that's a Winnebago, that's a Tiffin. Got an Airstream. Got a, a Ram. I'm trying to remember what that Ram was. I can't remember that Ram model. I didn't know that this was here. Pretty soon, we'll have a video where we clean out our van. Hey, they're painting this condo too. They're painting. They're wrapping oh. the banisters right now. And they've got all the what's the what you call it? Swing stage. Swing stage. Swing stage. Death traps. Yes. Terrifying. Hazard payers. I think Maria commented on the video and she says four, four more months. months. Yep, four months and uh, she, Maria Craig is coming to. Four to, more months. Yep. She asked me like a year ago to give her recommendations on places and I was like, nope, gotta wait till we're closer because unfortunately some places don't make it to the next season. So in two months, Maria, I will send you an email of everything I love around here that you have got to try. 
somebody else commented we should make videos where we go around to different restaurants taste the food the drinks i'm down <laughs> and it sounds like a great idea in theory sounds like an expensive idea but it also sounds very counterintuitive to what we're doing right now yeah unless you want it to be really expensive just for the taste and not to actually eat the entire entree or cocktail or whatever so uh it sounds good but i'm gonna i'm gonna steer away from that one on a regular basis yeah maybe we'll make a point where when we do get out we go somewhere different and document it and also take it to some of our current favorites that we already have there's a little glimmer of hope back there of blue skies and let's see it looks really neat out there it looks very sensitive uh, right out there uh, out there is the intro to the simpsons yeah the simpsons do, 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 do. i love it and try to see how far we've made it yeah you're right we did pass chick-fil-a yeah oh yeah we're way past it so we're we're a ways out there michelle says we went about 40 minutes this direction now we're turning and going back The wind is to our back. Wait, no. To our side. I haven't played horseshoes in like, since I was like five years old. Same. Hey, let me ask you while you're here. So, I have a video on Scroll Trap 2.0. And I was telling them about all the things that are at the clubhouse, you know, how you have the pool table, you have ping pong. What is that other one that looks like shuffleboard? Is it just a mini version of shuffleboard? The way I was explaining it, people are like air hockey. I'm like, no, 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 it's not air hockey. But I forgot to tell them we did have um, cornhole. But the one with the blue and the red metal pieces on that long white thing with the sand on it. I don't know what it's called. I knew it until you asked me. Of course. All right, well, we're back in the clear. We can see Blue. You're my boy, Blue. And uh, it's still cloudy, but it doesn't look like it's about to pour on us here. I think it's actually weather. She was gonna put her shoes back on. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's actually easier to walk in them than out of them, but the ocean was like, no, you keep your feet in me. Making a rare appearance, the sun might better, dry out her shoes. Better late than never. Here, I'll offer them up. <laughs> They really ask you to fill these holes in on the beach so that people don't fall in them, especially at night when you can't see it. Beach etiquette one-on-one. Now we got more sun, which means uh, need less sweatshirt. the sweater weather's not working out so much anymore. And uh, we probably got another quarter mile to go. Right there, that's where we came in. You see it? They buried him 100%. Okay. I mean, he's sticking his head out the oh, sand, okay. but he's all the way in there. I can't, I'm too close to that. No way.
there's no way. There's no way you could do that. You mean just slide without using hands? Uh, yeah, with them wet. Oh, you, you just you just going okay. Are you putting your whole foot in? Hell no. Oh, okay. That would not work. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't work right now because the sand exfoliation on the back of my ankles would hurt like crazy. Well, that's going to conclude today's beach walk. Thanks for hanging out with us. Happy Monday, my dude. And uh, maybe we'll see you later.